Does that sound right? Now, mm -hmm. it, now a bunch of this has been completed, but here's here's like for example something that is not mastered. Could we could we look at this today? Yes. Okay. Logged off assistant. Okay. Well, let's see what's here because I can't I can't. Um, This lesson is complete. Okay. Um, so do you know what you want with my mom or no? Well, I was just trying to get her to tell to what, what you wanted to work on. I think we've got it figured out. I think we'll, we'll find something in here that we can, we can look at together. That, that was the uh, reason for that. So um so we can so let's go maybe i can look at the attempt here all right okay let's take a look here okay let's take a look at this question here so all right i think i've got what i want so um we'll uh we'll look at this together so i'm going to share my other screen and and we'll uh we'll get started here so um as usual please have a pencil and paper out and uh, we'll go. We'll go that direction here. So, uh, seven times one hundred. Can you do, can you tell me what that is? I think that's the easiest one here for us to do. What is seven times one hundred? Um, is it seven hundred? Seven hundred. Very good. Now, where it gets more difficult are these these next couple here. You've got one with with one over one hundred, and then one with one over. A thousand. So let me try and show you this. If if I write four, four is really four, but it's actually divided by by one. So four divided by one is four. Four divided by ten is zero point four. Notice the decimal would be be to the right of it for four, and four divided by a hundred is zero point zero zero four. Okay, so do you see how the decimal is moving to the left? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this 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 uh, this zero here, this zero, and actually, uh, is that right? I'm sorry, I got I've got one too many zeros here. Apologize. This this zero tells you how many to put here on the right. Yeah. So it's 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 one less than than you would think. So because it's ten. It's a desk that the first zero goes with the decimal point, the next zero goes to the to the zero here. So if it were four divided by a thousand, there's three zeros here. So the first one goes with the decimal point, and then zero, zero, four. First zero goes with the decimal point, and then the next two go in front of the number. Does that make sense? So it's point zero zero four. Well, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this middle one here. The, the your four times one hundred is really four over one hundred, and four over one hundred. We just we just calculated off here to the right. It's point. The first decimal point goes with the first zero, and then the next zero, and then a four. Okay. So let's let's look at this next one here. Eight times 1,000 or times 1 over 1,000, you multiply the numerator. So that's 8 times 1, 1 times 1,000 on the bottom. Okay, so just like the last time, there's three zeros here. There's three zeros in 1,000. So the first zero goes with the decimal point, And then you have two more zeros and then the number. Okay, so now if we're adding these, and it's probably better to add them vertically. So let me let me show you show you that here. So we have seven hundred plus point zero four plus point zero zero eight. Have you seen this before in class where you're um, you're adding adding this way? No. Okay, so it's really important to line up the decimal. That's what's key here. You've got to line up the decimal. Okay, and then and then uh, so there's actually another skill in here. I guess I didn't even see this. So let's let's um, we can talk about that. So you you add in zeros when you when you um, 
or when they're not all connected here. So the so on the rightmost column, it's zero plus zero plus eight, zero plus four plus zero, three zeros make a zero, and then these you just bring down. Okay, so let's let's try a, a simpler problem. Okay, let's try a simpler problem here. It's okay if you didn't go to all that down. Let's go a six over ten plus three over one hundred. So the first the, the step one here, step one is to to write as a decimal. Is that okay? Is that so we're gonna we're gonna write six over ten as a decimal. So for each each zero we do something, but for that first one it becomes point six. Zoe, are you able to follow along with this? Yeah. Great. For the next one, the there's two zeros. So the first one is the decimal. The next zero becomes a zero, and then you bring that number down three. Now it's better to add these vertically. So I'm going to write it as 0 0.6, 0 0.03. The decimals have to line up. Now, if you're missing a position, you can put a zero there. And then you add vertically. So step two is we add vertically. Any questions on that? Uh, no. Okay, so I'm gonna have you try one. Okay. 0. 0.4, oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's go five over 10 plus seven over 100. Okay, so I just stay on my paper, do I just? Yeah, go ahead and work it out on your paper. And then, and then uh, I'll have you uh, just tell me your final answer. Do you have an answer for me? Um, almost. Okay. Is it 0 0.57? Okay, is this what you wrote? Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Very good, okay. So let's look at a slightly more difficult one. Let's say it's six plus one over 10 plus three over 100 plus four over 
10,000. Okay, we're gonna work this out together. Okay. So one over 10 mm -hmm. is because of that first zero, it's point, and then you bring the one down, point one. Do you agree with that? Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, and then what would be three over 100? What would that be? Three over 100 is point three. So the decimal point goes with the first zero mm -hmm. because there's two zeros. You, you The second one comes down and then you bring the, the three down. Oh, okay. But if it's, um, if it's the one through 10, one, 10, are you yes. supposed to put the one down and not the zero down or do you just put the one down? The, the first zero goes with the decimal. Oh, okay. The first zero goes with the decimal. Okay. So for this next one, the first zero goes with the decimal. How many zeros are left over? Three. So one, two, three zeros, and then you bring the four down. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this one's a little bit more difficult to add. Six has a decimal point to its right, and then you put in point one, point zero three, point zero 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 four, and when you're adding, you can fill in zeros if you need to. That's, at some point, you'll say, oh, I don't want to write all those zeros, but um, you can do that. Now, I'd like you to add this number up for me, please. Can you help me on this one? It's a little more. So you're just, you're adding by column. So you start over here on the rightmost column. What is zero plus zero plus zero plus four? Four. Okay, and then add the next column. You can zero. do that. Okay, add the next column. Three. Add the next column. One. Rewrite the decimal. And there's your final answer. Okay. All right. So let's go with, let's do another one here. So I'm grabbing this from your assignment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one says to first do five times 1,000, five times 1,000. So that is 5,000. Okay. Nine times one. I think you're you're comfortable with that. That's nine. Yeah. The next one is two over ten. The two because of this this two here, ten because ten is on the bottom, and then six over one thousand. Now, what I'd like you to do, Zoe, is convert the last two into decimals for me, just like we did in the previous problems. Okay. So the two. Yeah, two divided by 10. What is that as a decimal? Two. Let's go back to a previous problem. Mm -hmm. What is one divided by 10? Is it? Well, it's right here. I'm circling it. The... Oh, one. It's not one. What is this? Oh. What is this right here? Do you see my mouse cursor? Yeah, but I don't know what that's called. Okay, it's a decimal. It's a decimal, decimal point. Decimal. decimal point. Okay. Now, 
I've been telling you this for, for a few problems here. I've said the first zero goes to the decimal point. Yeah. Okay. And then you bring the number down. Okay. So let's, let's, so two divided by 10, there's one zero. So what does that zero go to? Decimal. Okay. And then you bring the two down. Mm -hmm. That's it. Try the next one, please. Okay. It's the so same okay. steps. The des the first zero decimal. Okay, give me the give me the final answer. I'd like you to work it out. Okay. Is it the decimal and then one zero zero six? Uh, did you, is this what you meant? Yeah. Okay, but let's go back and, okay, let's go back and look at the previous problem. Did I ever, did you ever put a one? Did we ever put a one? Let's go back and look. Like in this previous problem here, did it, were there ever any ones? No. Okay. So the, you, you can't, what you can't do in math, and this is really important, is like, is mm -hmm. like you, you want to do the same thing over and over again. Like, like don't even look at that one. That, that one is not important. Oh, okay. The first zero goes to the decimal point. How many zeros are left over? Two. So zero, zero, and then you bring the six down. Okay. Okay, so let's, we, we, I got to get you to be, be, be able to do this. Let's, let's do a few minutes. Three over ten plus seven over a thousand plus four over one hundred. Okay, so I want you to convert each of these to decimals. Okay. So I give you the final answer. I'm asking you to convert each of these to decimals. Okay. So, so that that's all you got to do is say, Matthew, the first one is this, or the second one is this. Okay. I've got to get you to be able to get, get this down. Um, so the first one is the decimal. Decim decimal. Decimal, or you can say point. Point, point. three. Good. And then the another the second problem is the des the point zero zero seven. Good. Keep going. And then the next one is the point and then zero four. Perfect. Okay, now if we wanted to add these, which which we really do, mm -hmm. the order doesn't matter but you, you have to write them so that the decimal point, and you can either say decimal, you can say decimal point, mm -hmm. or you can just say point. Yeah. Everyone, everyone knows that these mean the same thing, but you're adding them up vertically. And if you need to, you can put in the missing zeros and you add by column. So columns are going vertical. So you're gonna add zero, seven, and zero. What is that? Seven. Zero, zero, and four. Four. Good. Three, zero, and zero. Three. Perfect. And, Got it. and bring down the decimal point. Yeah. Okay, let's try another one here. Okay, so I'd like you to write these as a decimal. And then try to add them up, please. So the first one is the the point, and then the six. Point six, good. Yeah, and then the next question is the point and. Zero seven. Okay, very good. 
and then the and then the point and then zero zero eight. Good. Now I want you to add these up for me, please. Okay. The order doesn't matter, right? The order does not matter. Okay. What happens if the, on like, all the way to my right side, there's like zero seven eight? Can I like add that or do I have to? So did, did you write them vertically like we did in the last problem? Do you see the sale we wrote them vertically? Yeah, but does it have to be? So, so did you write point 0.6? 0 0.07 and 0 0.008. Did you write this? Oh, I didn't put the seven in the middle. Okay. I mean, the order does not matter, but it's better to just write them in the order they appear. Okay. Thank you. And then if you need to, you can fill in with zeros here. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's finish out this problem and then we'll be done. What, what's the last column? So eight. Okay. In the middle column? Seven. And then the first column. Point. Good. All right. Well, that'll do it for us. Um, if your brother brother's available, go ahead and have him uh, uh, connect here, and we'll we'll keep going. Thank you. It You're welcome. Really good. Yep. Not we're gonna we'll do, the, we'll, we'll do this on Wednesday again at the same time. So we'll just just uh, plan to have some stuff for us to work on. Thank you. For You're welcome. Bye. Bye. I'll call my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Michael, how are you? Good. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Awesome. So I've got um, your school up here. Let's let's look at it together and uh, see how I can best help you today. So let me uh, new share. There we go. So this is the this is the view I'm seeing. Uh, you're in you're in math for summit. Does that look right? And you're, uh, you're currently working on multiplication using algorithm C. So let's take a look at that. How are you doing in math? I'm good. It's good to hear. So I see that um, you've, 
excuse me, you've completed a few lessons, actually a lot of lessons, but you've not completed any of the quizzes, but you are currently on 6.10. Is that, is that kind of look right to you, 6.10? Yes. Okay, let's take a look here and let's see, see what we see. All right, so I'm gonna go back and what I believe I'll be able to do is I'll be able to look at any attempts that you have made at, uh, at this assignment. Looks like it is loading, it is loading. Yes, great, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look at some of these. I see, perfect, okay. Yeah, um, so we're doing, we're doing some multiplication. And uh, great, I'm gonna share my other screen. Do you have some pencil and paper out to take some notes with me today? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, now this is question two. So you will wanna go back later on and, and enter this. So the, 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 the assignment, the problem is actually starting out at 64 times eight. And sometimes it's easier to, to start fresh than to try to do it mid, mid uh, operation. You start by multiplying four times eight. Do you remember that from, from your lessons today? Uh, yes. What is four times eight? Can you tell me? 26. Nope, try again. How about four times four? Do you know that one? Uh, 16. 16, so four times eight is actually double 16. What is 16 doubled? We wanna double 16. 30, 32. So the two, the, the ones digit, the ones digit goes here. That's the ones digit. And then this three is the carry. So the next thing we have to do is eight times six, eight times six. Any idea what that is? Uh, 40. All right, so let me pull up. I've got a reference sheet on my website, and I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you. I'm also gonna um, I'm also going to uh, snip it in here. But we got to get you really fast at your multiplication. Uh, so let me get to that real quick. I'll show you how to use it as well. That'll probably be even more important. All right, so here is a link to the uh, the reference sheet for your multiplication tables. Maybe your parents are gonna get you some flashcards or something that would really help to be able to uh, get really fast at this stuff. Um, that way we can get through these problems even faster. So let me grab the reference sheet and uh, show you how to use that here. All right, so let me grab a snip. Okay, so here we go. So let me show you this because I think I think this will really help here. I know there's a lot of numbers on this, okay? But what you do is we want to do four times eight, four times eight. So you look for four and then you look for eight and then you figure out where they intersect. We did that, that was the first, first one we did, okay? What's the next one? What do we want in this one? We want eight, eight times six. So eight times six, you go find eight and then you find six and you see where they intersect here. What is that value? Michael, are you still with me? 48. 48, 48, good. Okay, so the reason we're doing all that is because we need to figure out well, what's eight times six. Well, it's 48, but then we add three. What is 48 plus three? 51. 51. So that one is what goes down here with the followed by the five. So do you see how the digit one is the answer to that? Yes. Okay, great. We're going to do another problem and hopefully it's similar. Um, but but if you're, you know, if you're keeping track, if you want to look at these later today uh, and enter them, the answer is, uh, is, is um, the answer is one. Okay, so another two digit by one digit multiplication. Okay, so the problem is asking you to calculate 73 times five. What, 
what is the first thing to multiply? Which two numbers? Do you remember from, from your lesson videos today? Three times five. Three times five. What is three times five? 15. 15. So which digit is in the ones position? Five. Five. So you put a five down here and a carry of one. So one is the carry. Next, you multiply seven times five. Seven times five. Do you know? Do you know that? Say that again. Thirty-five. It is thirty-five. Okay, but you have to add the carry. You have to add the carry. What is thirty-five plus one? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Now, because there's nothing left, you can just write that number down there. So this is question three. You know, make sure you get your notes down for that because you'll it'll help you to uh, to get this assignment uh, finished. Do you have all of this down, or do you need a little more time? Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. You ready to try one on your own? Sure. You can say no. I I'm I'm asking because I I want my goal is to help you. This is question four. No. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do six times nine. What is six times nine? Uh, I didn't hear anything if you said it. I'm going to snip in this um, this chart again. So there's six and there's nine. Where do they intersect? Uh, 54. 54, good. Okay, which, which of these two numbers is in the ones place? Four. So you put four down here, carry of five. Now, which two numbers do you multiply? Six times five. Nope. These two numbers here. We've already dealt with the six. So three times nine. What is three times nine, Michael? Uh, 27. 27. But this time you have to add the carry. What is the carry? Uh, 38, I mean 28. The carry, the carry is this number right here. That's the carry. What number am I pointing at? Five. Five. It was one in the last problem. Here it's five. What is 27 plus five? Thirty four. Nope. Try again. Twenty seven plus five. Uh, 30. I mean, if you need to, you can add it this way. What, what is seven plus five? Uh, 13. Nope, try again. So, I mean, uh, let's try another way. So seven, let's, let's make some, some grids here. Here's seven. And here's five. 
How many are there total? 12. 12. Okay, so that's seven plus five is two. Carry of one, one plus two is three. So this is 32. All right, let's look at another question. We'll try to try to improve here. Um, see if this one is like it. No, it gets too hard. Okay, so we need to do some more problems like this. So let's do that. Let's do um, 78 times four. Okay, so which two numbers do we multiply first? Uh, four times eight. Four times eight. Can you tell me that result? Uh, 32. 32. Okay, now which is the ones digit? Seven. Over here to the right, which is the ones digit on 32? Two. The two. So the two goes down here. What is the three? The carry. It's the carry, yeah. It's the tens digit, but it's the carry. So we've already dealt with the eight. We don't care about the eight anymore. What two numbers do we multiply? Four times what? Seven. Seven, good, and what is that? Twenty-eight. Very good. You have to add the carry. The carry is three. What is 28 plus three? 31. Oops, it is 31. Okay, so you write that number down below. Okay, let's try another one here. What do you multiply first? Six times nine. Okay, let's do it the other way. Let's go nine times six. I think that's been working out better for you. What is nine times six? Uh, 36. Okay, try again. Um, if you've got, if you click on that link for that uh, reference sheet, it'll help you. If you don't, I can snip it in again. Fifty four. Fifty four. Good. Okay. Now, which is in the ones position? Uh, four. Okay. So the four goes here. Five is the carry. That's the carry. So now you multiply nine. Nine times what number do you multiply next? Five. Five. Now it's it's the five that's next to the six. What is nine times five? Forty five. Very good. You have to add the carry. What is the carry? Five. What is 45 plus five? 50. 50, good. All right. So you put that 50 right next to it and you're done with that question. Okay, let's look at number six on your assignment. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a note here. That we're doing number six. All right, so for number six, we're doing 739 times six. So which two numbers do we multiply first? Six times nine. Perfect. What is that? 54. 54, so what goes below the six? Four. Four, and what is the carry? Five. Five, so we're done with the nine. What do we multiply six by now? Seven. Nope, what is next to the nine? Three. Three. What is six times three? Uh,
20, 20. Nope, nope. Either look at that reference sheet uh, again, or if, if you're not sure, I can show you how to use it. Six times three. Eighteen. Eighteen. What is the carry again from the previous problem? Five. The pro what is eighteen plus five? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Good. Which is the ones digit of 23? Mm -hmm. The three, so the three goes here, the two goes here, that's your carry. Now we're done with these other ones. Okay, so now you're gonna take that six and you're gonna multiply it by seven. seven. What is six times seven? Forty-two. Forty-two plus the carry of two is? Six. Nope, dragon 42 plus two. 44. 44. And since we're, since we're all the way at the end, we can now just write that as our final answer. So that, that's what you're looking for when you, when you go back to this one. All right, so let's look at another one here get another chance to practice this. You're doing really well. I hope this is helpful. Okay, so new question. Let's frame this question here. Okay, so which two numbers do you multiply first? Four times three. Four times three. And what is four times three? Uh, 16. Nope. Try again. 16. 16. Twelve. Twelve. What which of these two digits goes down here below the four? Uh two. And what is the carry? Which digit? One. So that goes above the seven. Now we're done with this three. So what two numbers do we multiply now? Four times seven. Four times seven. You know what I'm going to ask. So go ahead and give me the answer when you know it. What is four times seven? 28. 28. You have to add the carry. What is the carry this time? One. One. What is 28 plus one? Nine, 29. 29. So the number that goes here down below is the ones digit. What's the ones digit of that? One. What is the ones digit of 29? Nine. The nines. The nine goes here, carry of two. We're done with those two numbers. So now what do you multiply four by? Four. Okay, four times four is? 16. Plus the carry is? Seven, no, 18. Yes, and because we're done, we can, or because we're down to the last operation, we just write the number. So this is question seven, okay. Let's see if we got time to do one more. Yep, we got time to do one more here. Absolutely. All right, so this is question eight. All right, so question eight here. Which two numbers do we multiply first? Eight. eight. What is six times eight? 48. Okay, so what number goes down here below the six? Uh, eight. Okay, and the carry of four goes up here above the two. Four. So we're done with that. Now what do we multiply six by? Six 
times two. Good. And six times two is? Twelve. Plus the carry. Sixteen. Sixteen. Which number goes down here next to the eight? Six. Six. It's the ones position. Good. Carry of one. Cross those out. Six times five is? Thirty-five. Wait, thirty. Thirty plus the carry of one is? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Perfect. All right. So you have a couple of questions left on your assignment to do on your own, but uh, really good. I think we made some progress today, Michael. So we're gonna be working again on Wednesday at this same time. So we'll just do the same thing. We'll go through one of your lessons and we'll see how much we can get done in the time we've got. Sound good to you? Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for letting me help you. I will. Uh, I will see you uh, next uh, in two days. That's that's the end of our lesson for today.